was right after Halloween and I had a friend in from out of state, out of province. And we were celebrating the Day of the Dead. We went out and looked at some Gothic churches. We went out and looked at some properties like overlooking um, downtown. We did a bunch of thrifting. We went to music stores and looked at different music and went out lunching. It was really a great time. Then no sooner had they left and gone back um, to their hometown, all of a sudden we had this huge storm. So Halloween was over and then Mother Nature decided to give us a little preview of winter. It's almost a little bit romantic because it was kind of like that Hollywood snow where it's snowing and blowing giant flakes and it's luckily it didn't stick around very long. It only stuck around for like maybe a day, but it was definitely a preview of winter. It's, it's almost really starting to feel like the holidays, like the pre-Christmas holiday sort of vibe. Um, especially with all the snow. Again, fortunately, the snow didn't last very long. I think it lasted about eight hours. Thank goodness, because I don't know. It was just so cold. <laughs> we, um, we had a really nice time, and then this happened, this big snowstorm. So here I am hanging out in my garage, just checking out the storm and thinking like, wow, there is this original Wicker 1960s light fixture in the garage that was left for me. And I'm debating using it in my interior design project in my studio, but I'm not too sure. I might just not fuss with the lighting for now. Mother Nature is giving us a little holiday preview with this blizzard. <laughs> Good morning. I've been up since seven and I want to apologize because I was a little bit absent last week. I had my first house guest at my new place and it was so exciting, um, but it didn't leave me a lot of time to film. I was pretty much just focused on enjoying my guest and going out and doing things with them and yada yada. And here's me kicking myself for not taking any selfies with my friend. I'm so bad for that. Like sometimes I'll film what we're doing, but I'll forget to take selfies or to, you know, turn the camera around on us while we're doing whatever. So, don't. Um, <laughs> I am so excited to do some thrifting, but this time around I am thrifting for two interior design projects. I am doing a bohemian makeover on my kitchen, and then I'm also doing a a bohemian makeover on my soon-to-be creative studio. It's my new studio. It's not set up yet, but I've got an entire mood board. Um, I have ordered a bunch of stuff. Now, I did have to order stuff um, mostly from Amazon because, first of all, I don't have a car, so I can't haul furniture or things that are heavy like tables or chairs, things of that nature. So I have ordered some stuff. Some stuff has come, some stuff has not come, um, but I'm gonna give you an idea of my entire um, interior design project for both of those rooms. And right now I'm gonna go downtown and do some errands and stop into one of my new little favorite thrift spots and see if I can find a couple of things just to augment um, the stuff that I've ordered. I'm looking for maybe some art pieces, uh, maybe some glass, maybe some plant potters that I can put some faux plants in. Um, I'm also looking for a vintage bar stool, like those big wooden stools that you just sit on 
to use um, in front of my easel or in front of a work table that I've ordered because I realized I didn't even have a work table or desk in my studio. So I did have to order one of those and that's about it. Let's go do some interior design thrifting for my Bohemian interior design makeovers. Very exciting. I'm gonna bring my gloves too. In case you haven't noticed, I do have my faux fire going. Um, this is something that I actually ordered off of Amazon and um, a friend of mine helped me put it together. Actually, it was the first night that I was here in my new house and he was so kind to help me put it together because I suck at stuff like that. I am not mechanically inclined. I'm not handy with stuff like that. I am terrible at putting stuff together, as most of us are. If you're good at it, power to you. I am not. Um, but this has been super fun and cozy, and it also has a heating element. So if I do want warmness blowing, I can do that. But most of the time, it's too warm for that. I just kind of like the um, vibe. I don't know if you can see. It kind of just has like this fake kind of... Uh, yeah, it's a faux fireplace. It's actually a TV stand, but unfortunately, <laughs> my plan, as oftentimes interior design plans go, was to, it went sideways, basically. So I wanted to put the feet on this giant TV that I have and then put the TV up here. And then I realized the TV was not stable enough to have it up there because <laughs> my cat, Mm-hmm, my cat has taken to hanging out up here and I kind of tested it and I was like, mm, no, it's not stable enough. Like it would, if he gets behind it, it would freaking topple over and then bam, there goes my 55 inch screen TV. So um, right now I will show you um, a little bit of what's going on in this room. I'm in my living room and I still have my TV on the floor, which is fine. Um, I'm not really picky about stuff like that, although it did mean that I couldn't configure the furniture in the living room how I wanted, so I was kind of sad about that, but I will work something out eventually. Right now, my main thing is redoing the kitchen cabinets, doing a bit of a makeover in the kitchen. I've never painted a cabinet in my life, so that should be interesting. I've watched a million YouTube videos about it. And then I'm going to do the interior design plan on my studio as well. So that said, let's get downtown and let's go do some interior design thrifting for my new rooms. Yay, exciting. Well, I am wearing a winter coat with a, this is a vintage coat with a fur trim, a vintage scarf, which is super soft and snuggly and my requisite black beret i made this beret like i don't know 20 years ago probably and i still wear it to this day like i'm a creature of habit that way so yeah let me see if i can get you a full look at the outfit oh oh no my phone's gonna fall hold on let's see so this is my thrifting outfit today i've got my over the crossbody bag, that's it. I've got my crossbody, the sack. I'm wearing my vintage coat with a fur trim. Although I try not to look too fancy when I'm going into thrift stores because, you know, out of respect, a lot of places I'm going are charity organizations. And so, you know, I don't want to show up like, hey, I'm wearing a fur or whatever. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Anyways, this is the outfit of the day, ready to rock. And I'm just wearing some um, like calf high flat black boots so that I can run as quickly towards the, the good finds as possible. <laughs> All right, so my car should be here any minute. We are ready to do some thrifting. Let's go see if we can pick up some finds for my interior design project for my new house and my kitchen and my studio, which is in desperate need of a makeover.
the minute I stepped inside, you could tell people are getting excited about the holidays already. And it's not even quite Remembrance Day, but they always have a seasonal display apparently out front. And I love the angels. Um, my mother collects angels, so I'm always on the lookout for an angel. I always get her an angel every year. This was so cute. Um, I liked the painting on the front. I love the framing on this painting. I actually debated getting this one. I might even go back and get it if it's still there. Um, if I can come up with a reason to go back. These I had looked at before, these green glass vases, but the only place I had to put those was in maybe the living room. This ended up, yes, it came home with me, but I did have to go put it behind the counter because it was huge. It was almost as tall as I was and you know, the stuff I was buying, like I couldn't walk around the store with it. So I did end up picking up this textured basket vase. Mm, the only stool is very heavy. They had a whole section, actually several sections of holiday and Christmas decor and look at all these angels I was just thinking I need to come back and get my mom's angel that I get her every year something that's angel themed I also really love this teapot and I really love that moss green teapot as well I think I might get myself a teapot for when I have guests over for tea um, I find it brews a better cup of tea if you actually brew it in the pot look at these snowmen they were so adorable honestly there were so many cute and charming holiday trinkets this I was trying to figure out what it was it was so heavy and then I realized it was a Christmas tree trivet but it was a beautiful um, silver color and the metal was very heavy Look at this snowman cookie jar. Oh my God, that would make such a great gift. They actually had a number of really cute cookie jars, but I didn't need them. Here I am looking at these vases again. Um, they did have a really good selection of plates and cups and stuff. So I was thinking I should get some dessert plates because I think I only have like two or three dessert plates um, and I'll definitely need more for when guests come um, that metal fruit bowl was a question mark I think I was looking for a serving tray here and then I spotted these gorgeous ethereal original watercolor pieces um, they were framed quite nicely under glass, and they were signed and dated by the artist. I believe it is a Japanese artist, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, the work kind of looks like a Vancouver artist to me, but it also, I believe it might be a Japanese artist. I do believe I ended up picking up those two pieces because they were $3 each, and they are original artworks. So whenever I'm shopping for artwork, the first thing I look for is original work, um, be it mm -hmm. painting on canvas or photography or um, so woodcut prints, things of that nature. Now, you know, I almost bought this cross stitch. In fact, if it's still there, I will also pick it up because adorable. Yeah, that is my kind of sign. <laughs> the cats would like that faux show. Now look at this huge painting. Unfortunately, this was not signed by the artist. But that didn't stop me from picking it up and having to take that and a bunch of other stuff out on the street. Oh my gosh, look at this super, super holiday vest. Okay, wait. I want to go back to that. Um, snowman vest but I also really I like this why do I love this so much I do I really love this dress it's 
Do you have anything floor length? So pretty. Okay, you guys, I have found a lot of stuff already. Um, <laughs> like a giant painting, a couple giant vases, a couple smaller pieces of artwork. And now I'm looking at the clothes, even though, you know, y'all know I don't need clothes, but there's a couple pieces I could not resist. So I'll have to show you what I picked up. Oh my gosh, this orange poncho. If I loved orange, I would snap that right up. I think we're in the poncho section, people. It's poncho weather or sweater weather. Ooh, this blue one is really pretty. I love this blue poncho for some reason. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. Ooh. What's that one? It's just, ooh. Hello, chunky pink sweater. Oh my gosh, why do I love that? I could wear that as a dress. Oh my gosh, I swear this cornstalk shirt was stalking me. <laughs> it was cornstalking me because I saw like multiple cornstalk. It must be a big deal. I'm betting it's a country music festival or something. Um, but there were a lot of them and I kept finding them. And I'm not even sure why I'm looking at shirts here. I did pick up like three shirts. Um, but I'm not supposed to be shopping for clothes. I don't need clothes. Famous last words of a thrifter. I, I actually really, I did mostly shop for decor, so rare. <laughs> Here, kitty kitty. That's kind of funky. Um, but no, I don't even really know why I'm looking at shirts. Probably because you just have to. Like, I always think, you know, I think mostly I was looking for, like, band tees and stuff like that. I did get a Jane's Addiction shirt. Um... 
when I was thrifting with my friend that came from out of town. We went to a couple of thrifts. You guys, I bought a bunch of stuff. So I found a couple of art pieces that I liked, one for my living room and one for the studio. And then I also found, I don't know if you can see her, I'm waiting outside. I'll show you a shot of all this stuff behind me. And then, um, so I found some books, some shirts, a couple of huge vases, and a couple of really big pieces of art. So I'm just waiting for cab service to take me back. And um, I'm gonna have to stop and get lunch because I don't think I've eaten and it's definitely past lunchtime. All right, we are downtown. I thrifted a ton of bohemian decor, some for my living room, some for my studio. I was gonna get some stuff for the kitchen, but I honestly could not carry any more. So, you know. Um, I could not carry anything else. I am standing here with all this stuff. I don't know if you could see, there is a ton of stuff behind me. There's this huge painting. There's literally like a five foot painting here. And then another painting down here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I will show you when I get home. I'm gonna have to stop and get some lunch first because I am starving. <laughs> Like I think it's like quarter to two and all I've had is coffee and I didn't even get my raisin toast in today so definitely gonna have to stop and grab a bite. Okay guys, I'm waiting with my stuff. Just me and this me and this giant paintings and this giant giant I don't even know what you call it. It's like a wicker vase. So cool. Um, but I'm starving and there's a dairy queen literally a half a block that away. And I literally might have to get the cat to stop there because I am You guys, I got my Dairy Queen. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to take a break and like have a little bite to eat and uh, otherwise I'm gonna fade away because I was totally in the zone, thrifting bohemian decor for my studio, for my living room. And I did get a couple things for like other rooms, um, which I'll definitely show you the big hall. And it is huge. Like I had to wait for a special car, like the van cab to fit the stuff in because it was so huge like I couldn't even believe it and I don't even care I'm not even embarrassed if I have to like drag massive stuff out onto the street and then wait for a car it's all good at those prices hmm okay I'm gonna have my Dairy Queen and then we are gonna have a massive bohemian decor haul ASAP so by the time I had finished having a bite to eat and gotten home from thrifting, the sun was already setting. It gets dark so fast now as we're approaching the winter months. But there was this beautiful little crescent moon just nestled up above the tree. I'm going to divide this video in half and I will post my bohemian thrifted haul of all the decor that I thrifted today in the second half of the video because this video was simply just too long thank you so much for watching though stay safe be well please like and subscribe mm -hmm.